Hi, I'm Poultry Pete. And today I'd like to share with you my reaction, my response to the recent news of the avian influenza outbreak that's taking place here in the state of Victoria's southwest. Um, should I be concerned as a breeder of chickens? Well, concerned but not alarmed. You see, they've put a containment line of a number of kilometres around the two towns, the town of Terrain and the town of Meredith, just down in southwest Victoria. And the Department of Agriculture has got it all under control, so that's why I'm not getting all uptight. However, there are a few measures that I'm putting in place here on my own farm, a few things that you might want to take away that might be helpful to you. Um, one is, one thing that I do now, um, given what's going on, and I tend to do this as a habit anyway, my biosecurity plan is I try to wear farm boots, but only boots for my farm. So I try not to wear footwear anywhere else, but only have special shoes for my place. That's one thing I like to do. The other thing I'm doing at the moment is if I have any visitors coming on site that want to purchase birds, I keep a record of who they are and their phone number, just in case. Um, and the other thing, I make sure that uh, when the visitors come, that they clean their shoes in our biosecurity foot bath uh, when they come in and when they leave as well. The other thing that is really helpful uh, for you, if you've got birds or poultry, is just to know any signs or symptoms of disease. Now, this is a respiratory virus, and the things that you're going to be looking for is primarily just sudden death. I mean, this virus apparently just mows them down really fast. Um, but even the smallest sign of a sniffle or a cough or a cold, that doesn't indicate that it's H7N3. It just means that you might have a respiratory thing on your property and you need to get onto it. So if you hold your chicken up, this is Polly, the white crested blue Polish. Um, if you put your nose around their beak and there's any kind of smell, that's often symptoms of a bacterial infection. And if they're listless, they're losing activity or they're becoming lethargic and they drop their tails, you know that there's something that's not going too well. But that doesn't mean that they're gonna drop dead and they've got the H7N3. Just be vigilant. Another thing we've been doing is uh, we've, we decided not to have our poultry bird night on Saturday night. N none of our members come from the affected area, but we just thought let's err on the side of caution uh, and not meet together for the time being. And uh, the other thing is the Department of Agriculture are really worth getting onto their website. They, um, if you just put in Google, Victorian Department of Agriculture, Biosecurity, Avian Influenza, all the information will come up that you need to know and there's some advice there as well about a biosecurity plan. So have a think about having a biosecurity plan for your own property, not just in response to this situation, but just as a regular practice. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention that I'm also doing is keeping the birds in the barn. I'm not letting them free range just for the time being just until this drama tides over.